Hello and welcome to week four of LIBS 301. This week we will be looking at the information literacy concept of FIND. So for this week's to-do list, we have some required materials to look through, which include the week four instructor video, which is the video you are watching now. We have two videos from how library stuff works, um, Boolean operators and Boolean modifiers. We will have subject specific databases of how to search them. Um, and for these, you will only be watching the video that corresponds with your major. So we have a nursing databases, social work databases, and business databases videos for you guys to watch. Then we will also have a quick introduction to government websites video. For our assignments, we have our midterm check-in and then a what are you finding post. For supplemental materials for this week, and again, these are non-required, but are always available for you guys to look through for additional information. We have how to search relevant literature using fast Boolean operators, which is a YouTube video. We have a article which looks at Boolean operators as kind of like a quick guide, also gives some examples and tips. And then we have the USA.gov website for you guys to explore. For terms and concepts for this week, First, we have Library Catalog. So this is an electronic database that describes the books, movies, newspapers, and magazines, etc., that are owned and carried by a library. So think of this as kind of a big kind of inventory of what the library owns and has access to. Now, a library database is an online searchable collection of information that is organized and made accessible. Databases usually contain articles. Um, these will include scholarly and non-scholarly, but also sometimes include things such as videos, um, other web links, things like that. A scholarly article are articles written by research or experts in the field in order to share the results of their original research or analysis with other researchers and or students. So these are going to be a little bit longer, a little bit more in depth. Again, these are what you're probably going to be using as you go through your education. Peer review. So peer review is an extensive process by which a scholarly article is evaluated and reviewed by a group of experts in the same field. The researchers look for bias, inaccurate information, poor research methods, and unoriginality of the submission. So peer review is a process that's really looking very in depth within the article. So this makes the article top tier if it is peer reviewed and approved. Boolean operators. So these are simple words. The three words are and, or, and not, which are used as conjunctions to combine or exclude keywords within a search. So Boolean operators are used both within um, academic and research-based databases, and you'll actually specifically type those in, um, but they can also be used in things such as Google searches and other online web searches. Now, Boolean modifiers are techniques to further expand, refine, and improve a search. So these include things such as parentheses, quotation marks, and asterisks. The two videos um, that you guys will be watching about operators and modifiers really do go in depth really nicely and show examples of how to use both Boolean operators and Boolean modifiers. A digital library is a collection of digital materials such as ebooks, digital and digitized books, videos, and other resources that can be accessed and searched online. And then finally, government documents. So this is a blanket term used to categorize any information created, published, and shared by a government agency. And this government agency can be at the local, state, federal, or international level. So this week for our information literacy concept, we will be looking at step number two, which is find. So this is where you're gonna go out, search, and see what you can discover. So finding is locating the needed information both effectively and efficiently. So the two assignments that really connect with this step is our research questions and keywords post, as well as the what are you finding and not finding post. So really looking at the keywords post, um, those are the words that you're going to be plugging into your different databases, search engines, things like that, to really help you find that information. Do the checking in with the finding and not finding post is seeing where we need to kind of edit and correct maybe redirect a little bit with our keywords to really help you guys find what you would like to find. 
Now, before we ever dive in and start searching within the databases online, there are a few things that I kind of want you guys to be thinking about and kind of making a game plan for. So first is feel free and be sure to mix and match your keywords. Don't just stick with and stay with the same keywords, phrases, things like that, because you'll only get a handful of materials by doing that. If you mix and match your keywords, phrases, things like that, you will get a lot more. Also, make sure you're combining keywords and phrases. Boolean modifiers are a great way to do that. Again, make sure you're watching that video and getting a good understanding on these modifiers. Also, determine where you want to search. So what databases are going to pull up the best materials for you? Are there online options that you guys want to be looking at and should be looking at? Things such as government websites, um, research bases, things like that. Now, as you guys go in and search the databases, there are a few things to note. So which databases to search? So you want to select and watch the database video, searching video that correlates with your major or subject area. This will really help you identify which databases are the best for your area of study. So we have nursing databases. Those are going to have a lot of our medical kind of pulling again, nursing fields. Our social work databases is going to pull some out of medical and some out of the social sciences. And then our business database is really going to be looking at business focused, focused materials. Now, if you are unsure of which video to watch, please reach out to me and we will discuss which one best correlates with your subject area. Searching government websites. So we do have a quick video that is the quick introduction to website videos. This highlights multiple uh, different government sites. So this is a really good resource to be using. Also, I have linked USA.gov in Brightspace for easy access. USA.gov is going to pull from all government websites created by the US government. Now, for our week four's to-do list, what do we have on the docket? So first, for our required materials that you guys need to be looking through, we as always have our week four instructor video, so the video you are watching now. We also have our videos from the McMaster's libraries. So this is the How Library Stuff Works our Boolean operators and our Boolean modifiers. And we also have videos from Brianne Kirsch, so you only need to be watching your major's video. So we have nursing, social work, or business. And then finally, we have a YouTube video from Amy Adams, which is a quick intro to government websites. For our supplemental and non-required materials that you guys can look through, we have a video and article from Scribber. So this is how to search for relevant literature using fast, uh, by using Boolean operators. And we also have the article that connects to that. So it's Boolean operators, it's a quick guide with examples and tips. Also, we do have the USA.gov website that is linked for you guys for easy access. For our assignments that are due, we have two assignments. One is required and one is optional, but strongly encouraged. So first is our midterm check-in. This is your optional, but strongly encouraged. It allows you to give me completely anonymous feedback on the course, what's working, what's not, what you would like to see changed. And if possible, I will add these changes in uh, to the course for the final four weeks. Um, if there are a little bit bigger of changes, I will make note of that and edit the course as needed for future sections. So this is due on Thursday. Um, again, it is completely optional for you guys to do, but I strongly encourage you to do it. Our required assignment for this week is what are you finding? It is a discussion post. And here we are discussing what we're finding and what we're not finding in our searches. Um, again, I want you to respond to two of your classmates. The initial post is due on Thursday. Your response to your classmate is due on Sunday. And this will also really help me figure out what you guys are finding, what challenges you're having. I will also be providing feedback and additional kind of suggestions on how to search and where to search um, to really help you guys with your assignments moving forward. So as always, if you have questions, please feel free to reach out. You can always email me or set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting, both virtually or in person, and have a great rest of your guys' week.